So what's going on today, Maureen? Well, certainly not my typical video. I've been tagged by Rochelle from Brampton Gardener. Hashtag Tnog getting to know you tag, who happens to be the New Orleans gardener. So this video is all about getting to know you. And so there is 40 questions that are being asked of me and I get to answer them and you get to know me a little bit better. Well, if you call these little hooligans, then yes, I do have pets and they are treated like pets. They're little diva chickens, just like their diva mum. And then there is sweet Bela and she is my grand dog and she hangs out here at the house as well. No, I am not. I am a widow. And this is my late husband, Daryl Schultz. And I've been a widow for eight years now. Perhaps just a wee bit. Absolutely. With all my heart, soul, and mind. Oh, I'm a cheeseburger girl. But if I am gonna have a hot dog, I prefer to have a smoky and it better be extra cooked. Basically, I like it charbroiled. Mm -hmm. That one is a tough one, but one of my go-tos is always Korean food. I love Korean barbecue. I also love Samsung Jambang, which is a, a hot, spicy seafood soup. Absolutely delicious. We make kimchi here. We've learned how to make our own bulgogi sauce and to do Korean barbecue here even at home. Just some water in my big jug that I take my thyroid medication because I have thyroid disease. And yes, that is a landline. I am still a landline girl. <laughs> Absolutely not. Anything that looks like this. Mm -hmm. I don't believe that I have any hobbies as a grown-up person, but I was a knitter, crocheter, sewer. I sewed all my daughter's dresses and made them all matching and things like that. Um, but in my later life, I just like to take a nap. Mm -hmm. Nope, not a one. I think so. Yeah, um, I think probably fear of just not being enough or not being good enough. And that's something that I work on constantly. You know, it's like I've been a parent for 35 years to five adults now. And the verdict is still out on whether I'm a good parent or not. Well, uh, as a teenager, I was called Mo or Mojo. And now as Diva in the Dirt, I'm called Farmer Mo. But my first nickname was created by my mom. She called me Beautiful Face and shortened it to kind of boo face, boo face. And so then I became boo fuss. And then my siblings, they all changed it to boo boo, like Yogi Bear and boo boo. So a lot of times it was ah boo boo. And to this day, if I'm out and about somewhere and I run into somebody from the past, they'll go, are you boo boo? You know, and of course I go, yeah. And that's what they still call me. I, they, they wouldn't know my first name was Maureen. <laughs> Um, that again is a tough one. I'm, I've not always had a very big sweet tooth, but I like really good chocolate. You know, something with really good chocolate. But then when I'm really bad on days when something's misfiring in, inside my head or my body, I can eat O. Henry's like nobody's business and all that, you know, waxy chocolate, the peanuts, the nougat, I can just go crazy for an O. Henry. Nope, just the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna choose rain. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the north and we had eight months of winter. And so I like our winters here where it's rainy because I don't have to shovel it. I can still wear nice shoes even through the winter. Having five kids to dress into all of their gear before going outside, it was a, a nightmare and then someone would have to go pee. And down here, if we do get some snow, it lasts a day or two, maybe a week. I have three piercings, um, just my ears, and then just one here on my nose. And <laughs> interesting fact about the one on my nose, I've had some musician friends where we're on stage together, we write music together, and five years later they go, hey, when did you get your nose pierced? Seriously? Like, when I was in my 30s. <sighs> no, no, no. No, 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 don't make me choose. As long as it's good quality and properly cooked, don't make me choose. 
I have five fabulous kiddos. And here's a picture of them when they were all the exact same age going into grade 12 and when they graduated. Looking at the shirts in my closet, you can't quite tell, but red would be my favorite color. Yes, I organize my shirts in this fashion when they are hung up there. And coats and hats. Yeah, pretty sure it's red. So now it's time that we must come clean. Somewhere there's a love supreme, but it ain't you. No. So give it up. Quit knocking at my door. I don't care what you're selling. I don't live there anymore. Actually, uh, I go through phases where yes, I can, and then no, I can't. And I'm kind of that in between right now, so. I don't get much sound, you know, if I and then I can. I was born in Prince George, British Columbia, Canada. My mother is Canadian born and my father is from Mississippi. That's why mama's got a bit of an attitude. Mm. I'm the youngest of six siblings. Um, yes, I can. The uh, five people that came from my body, I have kept them alive all this time. So yes, I can cook but mostly I know how to cook for a big crowd all the time, every single day. When we had hot dogs, chips, and Kool-Aid, it was like a birthday party every day for lunch at my house. Why, yes, I can swim. Uh, nothing professional, as you can tell by my physique. But the uh, cool thing is, is like, I also have this crazy thing of being able to float, like float. I can put myself like into the, this kind of position and just, just keep floating, just, just, Sail me away, sail me away. A really big tub with lots of beautiful petals and Epsom salts. That's, uh, that's what I would love. Uh, I'm, I've always been a part of smaller cities. Uh, Victoria is a bigger city for me, but I would say definitely, I would like to live in the country. I love the peace and quiet. I'm not a person who gets bored doing nothing, just sitting. I am a very good friend and I am a very loyal person and I will go to hell and back for you. I, I kind of broke my wrist when I was a teenager, so that's the only broken bone that I have broken so far. Uh, I think we have four. There might be a fifth one that's behind the couch just sitting there. Um, but, you know, we don't have any cable vision or anything like that. Mostly the TVs are for you know, streaming YouTube or Netflix. Worst physical pain was an ENT with a tube going up my nose because my nasal passages are very small. But the worst pain in my heart is, of course, losing a loved one. There's nothing that compares to the loss. I love dancing and especially ballroom dancing. So I love to do the waltz and the foxtrot and the rumba and cha-cha. Of course, I love swing dancing. This is one of my favorite scenes of when I'm in Mexico, except for the grass would be a swimming pool of blue water. I'm first and foremost an all-inclusive girl, but I don't mind glamping. I am so not weird. I am so normal that everybody else is actually quite weird. So I have been gardening for the last three years. Uh, as a jazz and blues singer and a vocal teacher, I was on the extreme of the non-essential. That is what brought me out to the garden to spend time out here. And I built it up just little by little over the last three years where I'm now full-time gardening and singing on the side. That's, that's again a really tough one. I do love to grow squashes just because they're super easy. But the one thing is, is I have a big family and I'm feeding a lot of people. So I wanna grow things that are going to produce so that I can continue to feed my family. I also would love to have uh, fresh fruit. You know, I'd love, you know, the oranges and the peaches and the apples and just have a beautiful, beautiful orchard. Here on Vancouver Island, we are zone 9B. We're considered the Hawaii of Canada. Um, I think because we can grow palm trees. So that was 40 questions to get to know me. And there is one more request. I get to tag five other content creators so that we can get to know them. So they are Zoe's Homestead, A Simple Season, My Alabama Farm Life, The Everyday Life of an OCD-ish Chick, and Rem's Family Farm. I hope you'll take on this mission so that we can get to know you a whole lot more. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.
Take care and God bless. There was actually one question that I missed, so it is out of order. Posting of this on this day, April 30th on Sunday. It's my birthday and I've turned 56. Yay! Yeah!